Hi, thank you so much for joining my channel again. Today, we're going to talk about what you need to know when you're going to the airport to get your international flight. If you get through the whole video, I have some pro tips at the end of this video that might be helpful. There are seven things that you need to know that are essential. These aren't like fun stuff to bring, you know, like all those fun gadgets and things to keep you comfortable on the plane. These are things that you absolutely have to have in order to get from point A to point B, which would be your destination. Okay. So First thing that you need to make sure is that you get to the airport early. You want to make sure you get to the airport two hours early from boarding. You know, not the flight time, but the boarding time. Two hours early if you're leaving from the United States going internationally. If you're coming from an international destination back to the U.S., you want to be there three hours early because you just never know. You don't want to be stuck in in your the, the security line and you just don't know it's better to be safe than sorry i prefer to definitely get there early because i don't want to miss my flight and the other thing to think about is when you're leaving an international flight in the united states going to an international they board sooner than 30 minutes before uh, the flight. They usually do it 40, 45 minutes early. So it gives them more time. So you need to be at the gate ready and prepared to go. The second thing you wanna make sure that you have are extra pens. You probably want more than one just to make sure, just throw a couple or three pens in your bag because there are times when you get to the other country, you have to fill out forms. You'll fill out a customs form or you'll fill out some type of paperwork. Not always, but it's so much better to be prepared to make sure that you have everything in order and that you have your pens. The third very important thing is to have your documents folder together. So I like to use this it's plastic it's got a little um you know it's all it can all stay inside here and i like this and i've used these for years i really like them and right now i just bought some train tickets for italy when i go there at the end of the end of uh, march and so i've already started my folder um in that folder you should have um, you should always make sure you bring your passport because that's really important that you have your passport and you need to make sure you put it in a place that's accessible that you can always reach and show that. So however you get it to the airport, make sure that you have your passport. Make sure you have copies of your itinerary because you can't 100% rely on your technology. So you need to make sure that you have copies of your itinerary, that you have copies of your passport. You wanna copy that just in case you lose it, you have a copy of your passport. You wanna make sure you have, if there's any excursions that you're going on, if you have any um, train tickets, your boarding passes, anything that you'd be lost, if your computer, if your phone died and you didn't have a way to charge it, just to make sure you have a backup. So I always make sure I carry a backup of all my things in this handy dandy folder and I keep it in my backpack. And so I have access to it when I need it. Also in your document part, in your documents folder, if you have any COVID requirements for the country, if they require you to have vaccinations, which I think a lot of places have backed off on that, but if they have any COVID requirements, you want to make sure that you put those in there as well. And you also need to make sure you bring some masks with you because there are airlines that still require you to wear a mask. Or if you get to the other country, they might require you to wear a mask. So you want to just bring some masks with you just in case so that you have your own masks and you don't have to go end up and buying them somewhere else. The other thing also is if there are any phone numbers that you want to make sure you have. For example, if you have a, um, a driver picking you up from the airport, you want to make sure that you have that phone number written down just in case something happens and your phone dies. You just want to have a backup because you're in a different country and that's hard. And so you don't want to rely on your phone, which goes to the next topic, which is make sure you have a, a charger, a phone charger, make sure you have your phone charger cords. 
I don't like carrying those big chargers, but I know they have lots of different ones. And I have this little charger that I bought and it's cute. I like it cute and it's pink and I love pink. So I have this charger. I'll keep this charge. I've been using this and I really like it. And so I'll make sure I bring this from now on. There are so many chargers that you can get. But I mean, if your phone dies in a really critical moment, then you don't. But that's why you always want to have a backup. So bring your charger and bring your phone cords because you you can plug those in in the airplane more likely than not. But you just want to be certain. You always want to make sure that when you're on the airplane and you do have a place to charge your phone, you should charge your phone so that when you land, your phone is fully charged and then you have that security just in case something should happen. And then that brings me to my next thing that you should definitely have when you're going. Ah, it's over here. My adapter. So this is not a universal adapter, but you know what? These round ones like this, they can be used in lots of different places. So when you're planning your trip, you want to research what type of adapter. I love this because it's kind of small. And then you can just put your USB here or the C thing here. I, and it also has another plug up on the top. So I like this and carry this with me as well. So the other thing that I feel is really important is to have some cash in the local currency. Because while I use credit cards for a lot of things, um, I like to keep track of my spending and I like to get points and I like my, my, you know, my, my purchases to be protected by my credit card. There are a lot of places that don't accept credit cards. Like if you take a taxi and they don't accept a credit card and you need to have some cash. So I try to have like a hundred hundred dollars of their currency in cash, at least 50, but I try to do a hundred just so that I feel safe. And that I, if I need money, I have, I have money. I think that that's a really um, good rule to go by. And I've been doing that for years. And sometimes I use the cash and sometimes I don't. And I always make sure to bring some cash home. So I have it for the next time. So one last thing, although I do have some pro tips at the end, but one last thing that uh, it's nice to remember is to bring some snacks with you, whether you buy them at the airport or whether you bring them from home. It's nice to have some snacks like these nuts. You know, some nuts. You don't want to bring any fruit or any vegetables, nothing that's alive, no plants, nothing like that, because they will get confiscated and that is not good. But you can bring some snacks, some some things that are dead, <laughs> you know, like nuts or crackers, um, things like that. Because if you get to the other country, you just don't know where you're going to be and you might be hungry. Um, God forbid I go hungry for too long. So I like to make sure I have my snacks. So here are a few little pro tips, some little tips that are kind of, you know, good to know. First is take a photo of your luggage. So in case something should happen to the luggage, in case the luggage gets lost, which doesn't, for the, as many luggages that goes through those airports, the percentage of them getting lost is really low, but if it happens to you, it's a big deal. So it's nice to take a photo of your luggage so that you can identify it and help them identify it while they're trying to retrieve it for you. And just another tip that may or may not fit in this video, but I'm going to share it, is if you're planning an international trip and you're going somewhere where you have to be, like you have to be on a cruise or you have to be there for the wedding or you have to be there because you're meeting someone and you're going to go somewhere else. I would always recommend go a day early because you never know with flights, if you get delayed and postponed, that way you have a cushion and you're not stressing yourself out. And I believe travel should be free and easy and it should be fun. And the only way it can be free and easy and fun is if you're not stressed and time makes Everybody gets stressed. You know, it's like if you're rushing for the for the airport, if you're rushing to get to someplace, it creates stress and then it makes 
it just makes the trip not as fun because it's so stressful. So that's why you need to plan ahead of time. You need to make sure that you give yourself plenty of time, plenty of um, time in between flights, if you're doing a connecting flight, all those types of things. So I hope that this information has been helpful as you're planning your international vacation, you know, or coming into the summer. And it's nice to know exactly what you need to do, what you need to bring when you're getting ready to go on the airplane. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please make a comment, leave a comment and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that so much. So have a great day. Ciao for now. Bye.